All right, uh, what's uh, what's different? What's unusual about a rhizopus mycelium? So I'm representing rhizopus here. Commonly known as what? Bread mold. So let me just draw a very simple diagram here of part of a rhizopus mycelium. And I'm going to represent one of those spore producing structures. And inside the mycelium, or inside the, the hyphae, hyphae means what? Threads. Mycelium means you got a whole bunch of threads. Well, you just have threads here. What am I representing inside here? Uh, each one of these uh, represents a nucleus. It represents a nucleus. And what is the chromosome number of all these nuclei? They are all N, 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 N. That's what they are. And so, what is unusual about this? What's going on here that's different than, say, the diagram I put a little earlier in this, in this module? About what's different about this, uh, this situation here? What? Yeah, I, uh, I usually fish around quite a while in a classroom before I, I get an answer, but we haven't got fishing time here. So, uh, let's cut to the chase. What's going on? All the nuclei are in the same big cell, right? There's not cell walls. Uh, the nuclei are not in separate cells. They're all in one big happy cell, I guess. Yes, they're happy. And so we have a situation. There's a technical term for it that I'm not bothering you with. But we have continuous, continuous cytoplasm. continuous cytoplasm. There are no cell walls separating nuclei. I guess I can put that in there. No cell walls no cell walls separating nuclei. No cell walls. So that's a little different, right? Now we have a uh, an interesting question and that is uh, well, it's in your uh, study guide there. Um, what process produced all these nuclei? All these haploid nuclei. What process produced them? We don't have very many choices. There's only two processes in nature that produce haploid nuclei. We just reviewed them in a previous video. What are those processes that pr produce haploid nuclei? One is meiosis meiosis and so 2n uh, and then the daughter cells are all n that's meiosis there's always also haploid mitosis n and so uh, we got haploid uh, uh, nuclei produced by mitosis and by meiosis which one is this, do you suppose? It's one or the other. There's nothing else going. That's the only two. It's either, haploid, it's either meiosis or haploid mitosis. Which one? And I usually get a student who raises his hand and gives me an answer. And it's usually correct. What answer would it be? Well, they usually answer mitosis. Mitosis. And I say, well, gee, why do you think that? Well, um... If it's meiosis, what should we see somewhere in here? We should see a 2N nucleus, right? Any 2N nucleus in this picture? No, nothing but haploid nuclei. So, uh, it must be mitosis, nothing but haploid nuclei. Must be mitosis. But, we got something going on here that's different from what we've seen before. I've already started writing what it is. Mitosis without what do you suppose? Well, the, cell, the nuclei are all in a single cell. Are the cells actually dividing or just the nuclei dividing? Ah, uh, just the nuclei. And what's mitosis again? Division of the nucleus. So, 
There is nuclear division, but not cell division. So we'd say the process that produced these is what? Mitosis without what? Mitosis without cytokinesis. Mitosis without cytokinesis. So that's why there's two different words. They don't always go together. We have division of the nucleus without division of the cells. And so it's all one big happy cell. Mitosis without cytokinesis. Now, uh, usually when we say mitosis, we mean mitosis with cytokinesis. We don't say with cytokinesis, because it usually is with cytokinesis. It's only when it's without cytokinesis, which is so unusual that we bother saying it, mitosis without cytokinesis. Otherwise, when we say mitosis, we assume we mean cytokinesis. All right, so what do we have here? I think we have the unusual aspect of the rhizopus mycelium, the fact that there's continuous cytoplasm, no cell walls separating nuclei, and how did these nuclei come into being? By mitosis, by haploid mitosis, but haploid mitosis without what? Without cytokinesis, division of the nucleus without division of the cells. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.